beautiful people. It's Mama Goop. So I am back with you today. I'm pretty excited about the project that I did for you. I hope you will all agree. You know me and my never-ending quest to sort of uh, right the wrongs that is the body positivity movement. So I um, thought I would circle back to Alexandra Rodriguez. So I started doing videos on her. I really didn't know much about her. All I knew was what she was saying was not right. So um, I'm reading the comments to the last video I did where she talks about her liposuction on her face. I figured I would take a deeper look into the background and what led up to her with her gastric bypass, which was less than two years ago. And sort of, you know, her growth on the scale um, to losing a good 110 pounds after a year to somewhat gaining half of it back. Now, um, there's a couple things I just didn't know. I didn't realize that at her highest, she was nearly 400 pounds, okay? And I did find out she is 5'7", so she's a little bit taller than me, but still. Even after her one-year weight loss, that's still morbidly obese. So anyways, um, this series is actually going to be in four parts. Um, it got really long. I was surprised at how many good clips there were out there. I'm not going to make you sit through an entire video. I just wanted you to hear some things that I thought were interesting and um, some myths I wanted to bust. And, um, you know, let's take a look at the first part. Here is, we're starting out in 2018, which I know feels like a lifetime ago, but it wasn't. It was just five years, okay? So, you know, uh, yeah. So she is talking here about her regrets about the um, liposuction. So we're going to see her and uh, some rants about being fat and such when it's funny because all she's going to do is gain weight from this point. So let's see what we can see. Am I right? So this was filmed in 2018. So young, A young Alex was, I mean, still relatively pretty thin. Now, 2018 was only five years ago. So um, she has definitely come a long way in five years. And just the fact of aging five years has really done a number to her. So now here in this video, the truth about being fat, you know, and I just noticed something. Her titles, all lowercase. We, do we know somebody else who has all lowercase titles? Anyways. Uh, all right. Let's see what she's uh, ranting about now. Hey, guys. All right. Um, this is kind of vlog style. And as you can see, I was just crying a little bit. Just had a little bit of a breakdown in a car, like we all do. Not really. At some point. Um, so I don't have my camera, so I'm just doing this on my phone. But I just like need to talk about something for one minute. Okay. Something that I'm wondering if any of you guys can um, relate to. <laughs> Being overweight is so... <sighs> it's interesting because I feel like people can just... They think they can say anything to you about it all the time. Like, like you don't know. Like, you don't know you're overweight. Like, oh, I have no idea. I had no freaking idea. So, I don't know. So, did somebody walk up to her in the grocery store and say, should you be buying that? I don't know. Let's see. It builds up after a while. So, that I does. just this morning went to um, a dermatologist appointment. Mm -hmm. You know, a dermatologist, they're doctors for your skin. Right. And still we doctors. had a great appointment. I really liked her. She was a new dermatologist. And at the end, she was telling me, she was asking me if I could, um, talk about something to my primary care doctor. And she was like, yeah, like go ask her about that. Cause it's a, it's a new dermat, it's a new primary care doctor that I'm going to be going to. And she was like, yeah, go talk to your primary care doctor about this. And she'll also be able to help you with your weight. Okay. And I'm just Fair. like. <laughs> Fair. You know, all right, look, I've been morbidly obese. We all know this. 
Um, yeah, doctors do that because that's kind of their job. Health, you know. But the funny thing is here is I bet you she would kill now to be this weight. <laughs> Only five years ago. <laughs> you really had to add that on? Like, you, we had a, a great appointment. Okay. We found a remedy. And then at the end, you just had to go and ruin it and say... You know, by the way, she's... Poor baby. She struggled with acne all this time. I can guarantee you it's hormonal. And she can help you with your weight. And I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. You're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Because you know what? It never gets old how people can just think they can always just say something about your weight. Always. Okay. Like, I have no idea. Like, it's not something I'm working yes. on. Like, it's not something... I will tell you what, when I was going through school, um, you know, people would say things to me all the time, especially doctors. That's why I didn't like to go to doctors. I didn't want to face the truth. I didn't want to hear the truth. But it's true. It's like you're bringing it to my attention like I've never looked in a mirror. I do agree with that. Something that I'm aware of. It just, it's, it's just such a weird thing to me. I just don't get it like and I just felt so overwhelmed because I guess it's one thing because I hear it constantly you know not just on the internet but it's something that I've dealt with like for my entire life you know like I've always been bigger I'm extremely aware of my body I'm no. aware of my weight I'm aware <laughs> of like my health trust me I'm aware of my health oh, I'm sure like believe it or not I actually have pretty good health for my weight I because oh, and I can guarantee you back five years ago she did it's a whole nother conversation and all other misconception but it just it never gets old like it, it just it's crazy that people think they can always just like why did she why like you she's really think I don't I don't know I don't get it like it's not like you don't hear that stuff all the time like my mom and I were talking about this and we were talking like because on the other opposite end of the spectrum Perhaps if someone was in there, like, having a new appointment like me, but they appeared to be anorexic or appeared mm -hmm. to be struggling with a different type of eating disorder. I'm right. in my car. Oh, my gosh. I'm at the post office. <laughs> and they were, like, very, very, very thin. Mm -hmm. Would she at the end have said, and that doctor can help you with your weight? Yes. Yes. I she just would've. don't think so. Oh, I just no, no, don't no. think so. She I just think it's, I think it's the fact. So here's the misnomer with this whole body positivity movement. Being actually anorexic, though, is 10 times worse than being obese. Okay? So it's all, we all need to be a good, healthy weight. Okay? Thing. And I'm okay with reclaiming the word fat. Whatever. I'm fat. Skinny, fat, whatever. They're adjectives. But... I don't know. And I recently had this kind of big opportunity to do something on a really big platform. Okay. And the platform, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but it was for like... Well, I don't think at this time, I don't know how many followers she had at this time, but it definitely wasn't 500,000. Like a before and after like weight loss thing or like health journey or something. Okay. And I was just like... That's what you want me on, on this big platform? Like, I've just, sometimes it just feels like you're only identified as, like, people only see you as fat. That's how it feels. Like, that's, that's what gets that so frustrating. It's like, okay, you look at me, and that's, like, that's the first thing you see. And then, then that's what you start to label me as. And I'm, I'm so much more than that. Like, on that platform, I was like, okay, well, like, I could have done something awesome, like, fashion for a curvier body. Or, like, you know, a really cool winged liner on a hooded eye. Like something, something else that I'm good at. Like I'm. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> I get it now. I'm, I'm like learning more about Amber Lynn as I watch her. She actually does have hooded eyes. Yep, Amber Lynn does not. Not just my weight, and like for people to always just like feel like they can say something like you don't know, like it's not like something you think about and something you're aware of. It's just, it's so rude. It's just, it's rude. And like, well, so it's the doctor's job. I mean, I know she's just a, ther a dermatologist, but she's a doctor. She went through the same basic training as every other doctor. 
sometimes these like little things, little things will happen and like trigger you and then it all just b bundles up, <laughs> bundles, bundles up, up. <laughs> bottles up. And like I left and I was just, it was like the last thing she said. So it just really like just hit me the wrong way. And I was like, why did you have to do that? Yeah. I, I mean, why I get it. Why did you have to just. Well, because listening to the truth is very hard. I, I get it. Say that like so unnecessary. Like I'm aware it's something I work on and I don't need you to say it. I'm not blind. I don't know if this video is coming out right. I was just talking to my mom about it on the phone and I was just trying to figure it out, like, how I could express this. And I just feel like someone out there has to relate where it's just like... No, I, I relate. I absolutely relate. I've definitely had this done by doctors. And as a matter of fact, my neurologist said, hey, you know, if you lost a lot of weight, your MS symptoms would probably improve. I was pissed. I was pissed. Um, and then he suggested weight loss surgery and I was even more angry. Okay. But I was so desperate to help myself that, you know, after I calmed down, I'm like, yeah, maybe he's right. So and that's what started me on the weight loss journey. You feel like it's always the top of conversation. Like when I was a kid, you know, it was always something that had to be talked about. Like I went to the gym with my grandma, like three days a week four days a week when I was a kid like okay. it's, just, it's always been a thing and sometimes you just not you just don't want to fucking hear it because you know it you, we're not dumb we're not ignorant to it we're not blind but other people think like oh well you know what maybe if I tell her to lose weight she'll do it yeah oh, it's really not that fucking simple yeah because she's a doctor mm -hmm. and like shut up you should listen to your doctor. it just gets so old it just gets so old, and sometimes you just don't want to hear it. I don't know if anyone out there will relate to this. I don't know if I'll even leave this video up, but in this she moment, does. I'm just frustrated and, like, hoping someone out there can relate. But, you know, I have enough self-love and self-confidence in myself to just, like, shake it off. Because I always right. do. Cause I... And just continue to gain weight to epic proportions. Okay. No, I'm more than that. And I know I'm actually pretty healthy and I know I work on my weight and I try to eat healthy and I and work out and I do this, this video didn't age well, did it? The best I can. I do. I don't know. I don't know. But like always, I'll shake it off. Shake and it off. I remember shake my self-worth and. Well, okay. Your doctor didn't say you weren't worthy. She just said, talk to your primary about your weight. That's all. That's her job. She's just a doctor. Just because, like, strangers think they can tell you that you're fat and you should lose weight, like, shouldn't affect your self-worth okay. and self-love because no. people are wow. just, like, rude and ignorant, so. Sorry, this video's kind of sad. I just felt like I needed to talk about it. Let me know if you can relate. All right, so this one is was filmed uh, March 2019. So approximately 15 months after the car breakdown where the doctor told her to lose weight. Uh, yeah, so she only managed to put on weight since then. So, um, But I just want to take you through and just look at a, a few things here and um, let's see what these clothes look like on her. Anthropology plus size try on haul. Yeah, expensive. Okay. You know, that's another thing. How does she afford to buy all this stuff? Does she really make that much money? I mean, where does she put it all? Happy Thursday, my fearless tribe. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. So spring's around the corner. I'm stoked. Those eyebrows. Warm weather. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel like winter was so oh. long. I'm so happy that spring is finally here. Spring is I think wrong. yesterday was the first day of spring, right? Officially. So I am stoked. When I saw Anthropology was dropping plus size, this is not okay. sponsored. I like geeked out. She wishes. 
I love anthropology. I love their style. It's very like boho. It's yeah, just like kind of effortless, but it's really high quality. So I have been anxiously awaiting this drop from anthropology with their plus sizes. Stop so I did order a bunch to try out for you guys, let you know how the sizing is, let you know how the fit is, let you know how the quality is. So I already have on the first outfit and this top is everything. So I will start off by saying I do feel like this is very expensive. Like I definitely was not pleased to spend this much money on this but I did want to try it out and see how it was like I do think it's worth investing in certain pieces that are like really good quality that you'll have for years and years not just one season so with that being said <laughs> let's try them on see if we think it's worth it let's see how they all fit let's do this <laughs> all right so first here we have top no. and jeans mm -hmm. I will say I was really impressed with the drop but like I thought all the people that top doesn't fit her <laughs> look at the buttons Pieces were very cute. Like honestly, this top is so my style. It it's so cute, like feminine and cute, it fit and it has these little buttons down at the front center. So I got the top and the bottoms in an 18. Ah. So what I liked about the website, see 18 size 18 here, um, 2019 March of 2019 size 18 as well was on each item individually. It would say if it ran average, true to size, um, a little bit small or a little bit big, so you can know whether to size up or down. So I did follow that pretty um, it didn't carefully. Well so we'll focus on the top first. There's these cute little buttons, cute little embroidered flowers. The quality of this feels really, really nice. It's a very like sturdy fabric. Um, it's not stretchy. It has the little that's cute. poofy sleeves I like which that. I really like I they're just I kind of that. cute and dainty and then it has these two kind of thick pieces like on the that. side that come in from the side and tie in the so what sucks about that is the it's like it's it's bunching center and then it kind of flares out it does have like a little cinching under here and then the little buttons it is pulling a little bit on my chest yeah. but I will say a I do lot. have on my my big booty push-up bra <laughs> big booty big booby push-up bra um she, which I don't always does. wear so She's if I wore down. like a normal bra I wouldn't have an issue but I do think it looks really cute perfect for spring uh, and it feels really good. And then the jeans, I got these high-waisted straight leg jeans and I liked them because they were a little bit different. Her belly's really the problem, huh? With the pre-rolled cuffed I, I like bottom that. a little bit higher than normal. The jeans fit nicely, I will say. They run true to size. I got these in an 18 as well. They're very stretchy and comfortable, but they do feel like a high quality jean. They don't just feel like jeggings or something. So I really like these. I don't think I'd wear these together. I don't feel like they really yeah. match, but I do lighter, like the jeans a lot. Bottom. They do feel nice. They've got a firm stretch, you know? But it's like stretchy, but it's not too stretchy. Like they'll hold their shape, I feel, but they've got good stretch. So both of these pieces, more so individually, I would definitely give a thumbs up to. So do I think that these two are worth the price? No. Um, the jeans were 130 Holy and the top shit. was 120. I think that's crazy. 250 just on that shitty outfit. Yeah, no, sorry, anthropology. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if it was like a business suit, because those can be expensive, but for a regular top and jeans, God bless whoever can afford that. Like just cuckoo bananas. I so next I grabbed a pair oh. of white jeans. So I'm very, oh, no, 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 honey. No, no, no reluctant with white jeans so I wanted to kind of try them and let you guys know how they are so uh -oh. I also got these in an 18 yeah, and no, no, they're no. definitely not high rise like they come like right to the hip but I do think they're really cute no. I like the little buttons down the front no, I like no. these cute little pockets I don't know I don't know no. I don't think I want to keep them though no. I don't feel like I can really see myself wearing she kind of all right no I'm not trying to make fun of her but it's like no 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 mm -mm. put them back they're probably like, you know, $800 anyways. Wearing these that often? Like, I knew they weren't high rise, but like it's right at my belly button and like they're a little tight and I just, mm, they're comfortable though in the bottom. Yeah, button fly is not suiting her. Bottoms have these cute little cuffs. Um, no, I don't think that I will be keeping these. These were also 130, yeah. so no, no, if no. I'm gonna spend that much, I wanna really love the jeans. Oh, yeah. Here's what they look like, there's the butt. No. You can tell me, would you spend this much no. on these jeans? I wouldn't spend any all right, so all right. Next, we have the cutest mm. skirt no. ever. I just threw on like a simple black cropped tank top. Okay, I always thought I liked anthropology. <laughs> that is ugly. Sorry, and it does nothing for her. It's not a good color. Mm -mm. 
top just so you could really see the skirt here. This is so cute. So no, this is one of the pieces that the website recommended sizing up on. So I got it in a 20 and it fits like a glove. So it's not stretchy. It's like a classic kind of side zip skirt material. Mm -hmm. It's got this really cute pattern and overlay ruffles. So Lovely. cute. And it's a really cute, like almost maxi kind of midi length skirt. No. Mm -hmm. and it's a little bit longer in the back. I think it's so like majestic for summer like so cute with just even a little tank top tucked in or even a little t-shirt yeah. so underneath each one it looks like this so it doesn't have like another layer underneath so it's very light and airy for the upcoming warmer months but I just think the pattern is absolutely stunning with the flowers and the mustard color underneath so freaking cute I love this I'll around oh my god this is okay, adorable i love this dress that's so cute. much i just feel i don't even know what to say buttons i think it's so cute so little, it's a midi length but... dress and it is denim with buttons going all the way down again a little bit of pulling here with my big booby bra but it has these cute little ruffles yeah, I like that. at cute. the top and then it has a really nice shape to it which i think i like really love about it it kind of curves in yeah, here and then gives you lots of room so it's comfortable but you get a nice little bit of shape at the top and then it has the big pockets on each side i think this could be literally so cute dressed up or down like you could wear this to literally like a casual spring wedding with like super cute heels or you could wear this to the grocery store with sandals no. Live your life, oh, but I just am so in love with this. I feel kind of like out of sound of music or something, maybe. <laughs> and then the back comes up fairly high, which is nice. Oh, this is like maybe my favorite. I don't know why. I just like love this so much. I feel like it's these little sleeves it's doing something for me. All right, so this video was uploaded in November 2019. So now it's T minus two years before weight loss surgery, gastric bypass. Um, you could definitely see a little bit of more of a gain here. Um, later on, she'll talk about how she had a lot of trauma at this point in her life. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I haven't watched every video, but I think this is the period where I guess she was engaged and then she broke up. So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot, but um, you got to find different coping skills, girl. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see what she looks like here. I love it. Oh, did I get makeup on it? I just sounded British. Oh, my <laughs> God. I think I did. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day. So, I have had some clothes that I wanted to do a little collective <laughs> haul. You guys have been asking me to get some things from Chic Soul for a really long time. So, we have some products from them. Okay. But first, we're going to start with Good them. American. So, thank you so much to Good American for partnering with me on this portion. I'm obsessed with Good American, guys. You guys know I've been a Chloe stand forever. Yeah, don't care. The second Good and American expensive. came out. I geeked. I love how size inclusive they are. Um, I buy from them all the time, so getting to work with them is such an honor. Ah, I love how they go. Sponsored. From extra small to 4X, but everything is really high quality, premium. Their denim's amazing, their bodysuits. I just really love the messaging they have and how they're so inclusive Why she touch and body your hair positive. So much? And they just embrace everyone, so that's awesome. Oh, I got hair on my face. <sighs> So I will have everything linked down below. Ooh, um, more hauls will be coming soon. I have more clothes to show, but I am in the process of getting over a uh, sickness and I just didn't have the energy to shoot a giant haul today with absolutely everything. It would probably be like an hour long. So there will be more coming soon, but I didn't want to miss another video, so. This is pre-COVID, just, just pre-COVID. Maybe she was one of the first COVID cases. Oh, um, I'm sorry that <laughs> this isn't super long, uh, but there's a lot more to come. So make sure you subscribe and I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the try on haul. So this first set of denim Those right here. I love the fit of these. I love the way the butt looks. I even love this little detailing. No, that's cute. Up above the booty pocket. That's... They're just like that really classic trendy look right now of the straight leg and the nice high waist I feel like gives a really nice shape. I also love to do just like a little French tuck. <laughs> <laughs> just like kind of blouse my shirt. I do that a lot. So uh, I love the look of a white tee and jeans. So yeah, this is also from too. Good American. This white tee is everything. It's like the perfect it's probably material. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it's not too thick or too thin and it's like got like a little bit of I don't know how to describe it. It's just the perfect white tee. So oh, I just love it. It's from a brand for one of the stupid Kardashians. So okay. 
excited about. So next we have this Oof. gorge wrap dress. It's no, a really pretty like snakeskin. I love wrap dresses. I think they are so timeless, no. flattering. No. I feel like you could dress this up with like a sick pair of heels. I've been so into the snake print look lately. It's also like a really nice material. Like it feels sheer, but it's not. Like you can't see through it, but it's very lightweight and comfortable. I love the fitted sleeves at the end with the little balloon effect. I don't know why. I just really love this dress. I'm just gonna like wear it around the house as yeah. a robe. And then it has neon green oh. accents that I've been really into working out lately. So definitely gonna be wearing this a lot. Yep. It's so comfortable, You're only get like so stretchy and wonderful. And I've been on a huge workout kick lately, so I love this. I'm gonna get my use out of it. <laughs> I actually cannot believe how comfortable this is. Like it's just the right amount of stretchy meets compression. I love it. I love this. Yeah, she doesn't really say any sizes in here, so let's move on to the next one, shall we? So, let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> My double chin. So, years ago, when I was a lot thinner, when I was like a size like 14, 16, yep. I'm like an 18, 20 now, mostly a 20 in most stores. I had lost a lot of weight, which I've now gained back. It's just called life. I decided to get laser lipo on my double chin. The bottom line is, would I go back and do the laser lipo again? Um, 